Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. In this tutorial, I would explain you how to install Kali Linux and how to download it first. So, so to download ISO image of Kali Linux, what you are going to do is you're going to open a browser, go to for example, google.com okay. and in google.com you just need to type Kali Linux download and you can simply just click on download Kali Linux and that's it. You have all the links to download different versions of Kali Linux which is in the sense of uh, ways you can install, you can have Kali Linux installer, you can have live image, you can even download virtual box or VMware Kali Linux virtual machine also. I'm not showing you which one you should click but of course if you ask me, uh, for me I have used Kali Linux installer file over here which is an ISO and then of course it will start downloading it for me. And about the download link, you can find it in the description of this video tutorial also. So today we are going to talk about Kali Linux. Um, many people who are aware of Kali Linux, they know what is the use of Kali Linux. It's very good Linux machine which is enriched with lots of security tools. So we are going to talk about um, how to install Kali Linux and then probably we'll look into different parts of Kali Linux, how we can install certain tools on top of it and how we can work with Kali Linux. So let's do let's start with the major portion, the startup of it which is st um, getting started with Kali Linux means installation of Kali Linux. So of course this is my virtual uh, machine uh, environment where I'll do it. You can use your hardware laptop. You can just create an ISO image uh, on a USB for Kali Linux and then you can just simply boot it up from there. But the procedure will be same. So to begin with what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a virtual machine over here and I'll go with for example custom for now go next I'll go next over here or maybe if I want I can select the installation uh, path over here but I mean the ISO file over here but I'm going to click next it's a Kali Linux I'll select uh, Kali Linux but I don't think so we have Kali Linux listed over here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select uh, Red Hat or other operating system which is kernel 64 bit over here and I'm going to click on next and I'll name it Kali Linux for example um, this will be my path where I would like to create I have already created a directory called Kali uh, in my virtual machine directory and I'm going to click on next over here I'll go with two core and two processors with eight uh, to four cores. I'm going to click on next. Uh, for RAM I'm going to select 8 GB and I'm going to click next. Of course you can look into prerequisite document about it. I'm going to go with NAT operating, a NAT a network adapter. I'm going to click next, 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 next. For hard drive I'm going to choose for example 60 GB for now. If you want you can choose 80 GB or how would you like to do it it's up to you or you can say store and now you can say store virtual disk as a single or you can split it into multiple files also. Now we'll click on next now to customize hardware what I'm going to do is I'm going to point it to my ISO over here uh, this DVD ROM so that we don't need to go again and pull it up. So we are going to go in this drive where I have Kali Linux. The version is 2020.3 installer and I'm going to use this over here. And I'm going 
going to click on finish. Now, as we have already created a virtual machine, what we are going to do is we are going to power it on. Okay, now we are going to go with graphical install. I'm going to choose English as my language. United States, that is location. Whatever you feel is your correct location, you can choose that. Once that is done, you will click on continue. American English, whatever keyboard layout you would like to have. And now it is scanning installation media after detecting my hardware specs. Detect and mount. Now it's just loading installer components from installation media. In my case, of course, it's a virtual uh, CD-ROM. DVD-ROM so it is going to load the things from there now I'll click on so it has configured my uh, network adapter using DACP now it is asking for host name let it be Kali itself I'm not going to change and I'm going to click Continue over here, domain name, whatever domain name you feel you have, you can give it. Otherwise, you can uh, just leave it also. That's not compulsory to have. So here you would need to define a username. Um, this is uh, uh, an account which you can use for non-administrative activities uh, instead of root, for example. So in my case, I'm going to name it as, for example, uh, just just stack okay and I'm going to say username as just stack continue going to write a password over here and I'm going to click on continue now here you have to select your time zone so I'm going to select central for example based on your Location, you will need to select the time zone over here. Now it says, would you like to create guided use entire disk or use entire disk and set up LVM and guided use entire disk and set up encrypted LVM. Currently, I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to go with use entire disk over here. And over here, I'll be able to select my disk, which we have created. All files in one partition or separate home partition or separate home bar and temp partition. I prefer to go with this approach. If I want so, but I will always prefer to go with this approach, by the way, so I'll go with this. And you can see it is showing me the partitions, how this, these partitions will be created and my later tutorial I am planning to show you how you can increase the primary or the root partition so that's why I'm just keeping it default I'm not going to change anything over here and I'm going to click on continue of course I would like to write the changes to my disk continue now if you see it is part creating the partition and now it is installing the base system over here. Of course it will take little time based on the processing and the files and everything. So we'll just wait for it.
Actually, Kali Linux is enriched with lots of pre-built tools, so it might take some time to get this installation done and load all the packages and features which are required for it. So you need to be a little patient when you are installing it. So that's the reason it will do it. So now I'm going to install desktop environment, uh, XFCE default desktop interface. I'm not going to change anything over here. I'll keep things default. Top 10, the most popular tools it will install. If I want, I can go um, and do the default selection plus edition tools where it will have more tools. I'm not going to talk about those things today, but there are a lot of things which you can go about it. I'm going to go with continue. And now if you see, it is trying to retrieve 1900.04 files for it. So we are not going to go with any customization on this for now. We are just simply going with the default installation of Kali Linux. So now the downloads are completed and if you see over here, it has started unpacking and install, installing the different tools over here. It, it will come with lots of pre-built tool. As I said, it might have MariaDB, and many other tools. So there are a lot of tools which get installed by default with Kali Linux. Now it is unpacking Burp Suite. People who already know about Burp Suite, they know what I'm talking about. So, but again, as I said, that this tutorial is only about installation. We are not going to talk about any other tools today, but slowly and gradually we are going to talk about different tools inside Kali Linux. Now it is going to install Metasploit, Framework. It's a very, very good penetration tool, by the way. So as you can see, there are a lot of tools getting installed. So of course, I'm not recording all of it. I'm just going to get it paused somewhere in between. Uh, but wherever there is an interaction needed, I will have it in my video. But normally, during this phase, you don't need any interaction. You just need to be patient, wait for it to get installed, or just maybe just move out, have a cup of coffee or anything, and then you can work on it once this is done. So now all the packages are installed. You can see now it is just cleaning it up. All the installer files and all. And then we are done. So it's just finishing it up. And if you see over here, it says, it seems that this new installation is the only operating system on this computer. If so, it should be safe to install the grub bootloader to your primary drive. UFE partition boot record. So I'm going to install it. And now you see it is just finishing the installation. And then we are done. Okay, so over installation is completed, so it's time to boot into your new system. Make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into this new system rather than restarting the installation. So I'm going to click on continue over here and I'm going to remove my media from here. 
Yeah. And you see Kali Linux GNU is there and it is just booting it up. I love this logo by the way. So we are here. Let's try to log in. And we are in to Kali Linux. And you can see as I said, I have lots of tools which get installed along with it. I'm not going to talk about them, of course, but yes, you have lots of things which get installed along with it. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.